In 1997, the advent of nuclear transfer technology made it possible to reprogram DNA and clone mammals from adult cells. The appearance of Dolly, the first cloned mammal, unleashed a media frenzy. Dolly seemed healthy. In the spring of 1998, she gave birth to her first lamb, Bonnie. The lamb was produced the old-fashioned way, by mating Dolly with a ram named David. A year later, a second tryst with David produced three more lambs. Cloning techniques continue to improve. This cloned kitten, named Cece, was born in 2002. These cloned pigs were born in 2000. One day, cloning genetically modified pigs may supply organs for human transplants. But cloning remains challenging. Most clones die before birth or shortly thereafter. The world's first cloned dog, Snuppy, was born in 2005. To create Snuppy, Korean scientists implanted more than 1,000 cloned embryos into surrogate mothers. The results were only three pregnancies, one miscarriage, and one puppy that died after 22 days. Snuppy was the only survivor. And how healthy are clones that do survive? By 2002, Dolly had become overweight and developed arthritis at a surprisingly early age. In early 2003, she developed an incurable lung infection and was put to sleep. Even in clones that are born without problems, strange things can happen. The mouse clone on the right was normal at birth, but suddenly became obese as an adult. Despite the challenges, many remain optimistic about the potential of this science. There isn't any doubt that this is a, a technique which offers new opportunities for making biopharmaceutical products for research into genetic diseases. So this technique is going to be used and the efficiencies will get better. However, most agree that the animal studies suggest that cloning humans would be unconscionable. And the fact of the matter is there are all manner of failures and potential anomalies in any offspring which, which can be generated through the use of cloning. Those downsides have not been discussed fully and it's those downsides which desperately need to be uh, experimentally researched in animal, animal models before you ever come close to using potentially this technology in humans. To dismiss all of that uh, the lack of animal reproductive research and jump straight to cloning humans would be unethical and downright dangerous. <laughs> <laughs>